Good morning. Um, at this time, we are really, really struggling with what's going on with the coronavirus. Everyone's stuck at home. Um, but even in these times, I still believe God has something that he wants to say to people. Um, we're here in our homes, working from home, teaching from home, playing from home. Everything's happening right here. But I just want to take you really back to Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2. Genesis 1 and verse 2. And it says this. Genesis 1 and verse 2. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. What coronavirus has done has really thrown everything into chaos. A couple of weeks ago, you could have gone to the shops, no problem. Pasta was easy to get. Toilet paper was no issue. Now everything's being rationed to get into Asda or Sainsbury's or any shops you're having to queue up outside having your trolleys hand sanitized for work people are being laid off no one's even sure what's the next couple of months are going to hold and it seems like everything is being thrown into chaos but when we go back to genesis 1 verse 2 i just want you to imagine that you were there with god on that day before anything was started there was just water and darkness nothing at all and if you could have spoken to God or, or, or asked him what he was going to do, you'd have told him that, you know, it was chaotic. There was nothing going on. There was no way anything could be made of this. And then you get to Genesis 1.31 after God's seven days of doing his work. And what we see in Genesis 1.31 is that it says, Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. We go from the earth being formless and void, chaos, nothing at all happening, to everything being amazing. In fact, an even better world than the one we live in now. And so what we discover is that we serve a God who specializes in dealing with chaos, specializes in taking things when they're messed up and not going well and making sense out of them. We are in unprecedented times with coronavirus. But we serve a God who was able to take the world when it was in a chaotic space and make something amazing out of it. We serve a God who was able to take nothing and give us everything. And so as we go through these next few weeks and months and as we begin to get back to normal or even get used to this new world we're all going to be in, just remember that we have a God who deals with chaos. A God who makes amazing things in and out of chaos a god who can continue to do wonderful things in and for our lives so no matter what may be going on in your life no matter how chaotic or crazy it may feel remember that at the very beginning there was a god who took the chaos of the world and brought it all to order and that same god wants to take the chaos of your life and bring that all to order 